Absolutely. Magical moments for Mexico. Can Iarum find a way to grab yet another title? Here she comes. That win against Skylar Park. And that semi-final puts her into position here. The world champion in 2017. Silver medalist from Manchester most recently. And she goes against Hatije Ilgun. And here she comes. Well, they know each other from the World Championships in Muju. Turkey took the silver, Korea took the gold. Will it be repeat or revenge? But the form that she showed in that semi final, the Turk is going to take some stopping in this one. switched on and ready. The KP and P system has worked first time every time, which is always good. So credit to them for that. And we are underway, as you say. Which strategy will prevail in this one? The tail of the tape. Well, a couple of years, the senior is Iarum. And just a couple of centimetres taller, Hatije Ulgrim. But in terms of leg length, it's much the same. But that is the tail of the tape, but it's all about what's going on between the ears of both fighters. Strategy and timing. And we saw Turkey throw some prodigious headshots in the semi final. She's going to have to go some to catch Iarum unawares because Iarum, a little bit more movement from the queen, good punch on the inside. She is as both capitalise underneath there. Good shot to the body. Doing well to cram those long legs in in that short distance. And we are going the distance in this first round here. Just about halfway through. And another punch punctuates a good performance so far from Iarum. Finds room for that shot. And the head shot that the Turk was throwing in the previous round. No room at the end. There, but not too much power on it. I mentioned strategy, but also that creativity, so important in the Korean, doing well not to go back at all in the clinch. Just shows that physical strength as we move towards the last 50 seconds or so in this one. Both fighters clashing on the inside. In terms of the clash and the score, three points in favour of Iarum. Headshot not far away as well. towards the closing stages has been a very good first round. Ilgun refusing to give up. And it's pulled it back to a two-point game. Big swing to the face. Brings the end. A very good first round from both fighters and his finals goal. And tell us a little bit what it's like. Obviously, we're looking at this as a fresh entity on its own, but it's four and five fights to get to this stage. What's that like physically to be able to, to lift yourself? As you 
say that, I'm just making a note there of the different things that I'm learning as I'm listening to you, management of the time zones, of course. Sometimes we think about it from our perspective, as it's in Europe, it's not so difficult, but of course, all the way from Korea, they have to manage the body clock, and indeed, well, the clock is ticking now. On the efforts of Ilgun come straight in with the punch, thought about the headshot, but yeah, Room thought about it as well, gets the shoulder up, keeps herself two points to the good. Maybe draining, but all the training pays off for both fighters. Shot on the inside from Yarum. How she found a gap for that, I'll never know. Amazing, amazing transition from her body. It was almost like if she just showed, I'm going to block everything in the clinch, and then maybe she got a record. Intelligence from Yarum, capitalising. She's got a seven-point lead now. And we're moving towards the business stage of this final now. Deep into the deep waters of the second round here. Open stance, both fighters eyeballing each other. Back leg turning kick to no avail for Ilgun. She needs to try and find something to give Yarum something to think about in this. Good back leg turning kick again from the Korean. Plenty of pop. No scores on the board. Halfway through the second round. Yeah, room picking off the predictable punches from the tuck as Hatiji Ilgun tries to work those long legs on the inside. Very hard to do. Yeah, room managed it and also found room for a headshot as well. That is why it's a pretty comfortable lead if there ever is such a thing. As we see, it can change around pretty quick. But the Korean showing her strength in the clinch as well. Is she heading for gold as we head towards? Last 10 seconds of this second round, Hatiji Ilgun on the back foot does well with the punch in the inside, the tuck both, in fact, and a pair of punches keeps it at a seven-point game as the referee has a little call from the corner judges. Did you spy anything there? I don't know what happened there. certainly find out that's why the conversation continues the bow of respect between the three corner judges and the centre referee there was two punches thrown there was two punches scored will one of them be wiped away it looks like it and that will help Hatiji Ilgun it's a six point game now and your instincts were correct Mohamed Cho telling us an error in terms of the scoring but there's no error at the moment as Hatiji Ilgun almost overreaches as we reach towards the end of the second round. Now, speaking of, obviously, the Korean, Iarum has the lead, but when you've got a top-class coach, I know Stephen Jennings is very important to you. Ali Sahin, and the Turkish coach, presided over a real dynasty of, of Turkish success. How important that relationship is to have the coach that you can rely on in, in these moments? Coaching yourself, would you ever think about that when you retire? I know it's a long way off. Yeah, you 
Celtic more to Kondo left in that career, and whatever God's plan will be, it will be. The six points of a difference gives Yarum a little chance there, very close with that front leg counter to the face. Punch on the inside from Ilgun. Just the management of distance of the Korean, so crucial in this one. And how much energy does the Turk have left? She's on the back foot, does well to slide round the corner. The level of physicality in the clinch. So crucial here. And no gam jobs on the board either. 10 4 on the board, back leg swing and a miss there from the Turk. And the clock ticks down a minute and a half remaining in the third. And the Oscar goes to. <laughs> Nicely done. You can come back. 10 5 on the board now. Hattaji Ilgun reaches in with that big punch, picks the pocket of Yarum. there, a minute to go, saving the card, but Hattiji Ilgun was quite insistent to say play the card, but can she play her cards right down the stretch here, she found the body shot to make it a three point game, Ia Rum breathing heavily for the first time the Korean, has a little fly look at the score to see the time as well, and you can see it for yourself, not much left in this one, as Mohamed Chul was telling us, well, those 45 seconds can feel like a lifetime, as Ia Rum doing really well here, she's not going into a defensive shell, she's keeping it going. one going to shake out here the Korean coach by way of Great Britain as you were telling us before having the conversation with the referee and of course all the technology it's pretty much tech Kwondo now we've got everything at our fingertips and there's the coach who made the decision to play the card as she played her cards right and the referee getting the glasses on and it has been a real spectacle here top class matchup and this one of course going for gold and having a little look here on the on the big screen, any thoughts on that one? And it's Korea in blue blocking with the knee. Well, it was successful. Yeah, they saw what you saw. We couldn't tell exactly, but the video review juror says yes. Korean coach gets the gam jump removed, so it becomes a three-point game once more. So Ilgun, can she find the headshot that she found earlier? Goes with the punch in the inside. As we are inside the last 30 seconds and some change in this one. Can she change it? Back leg turn and kick just missing there. Yeah, room going with the headshot. As you say, needing that accuracy plus the power as we power towards the last 20 seconds here. This one, of course, going for gold. Back kick round the corner from Hattiji Ilgun. There was the back leg turning kick you spoke of for Iarum. But going for gold now, there's the body shot that will seal it for the Korean. She's got the gap and she's got the time as it ticks down. We're into the last 10 seconds. She'll take that gam jump all day long as we head into the night sky here in Rome. Can it be gold for Korea? Hattiji Ilgun fighting to the finish. She's going for the headshot, gets also close, but Iarum picks off two flicks to the face and finishing in real style there. Gold at the Grand Prix. Wonderful stuff there. And what a finish from Iaru.
wonderful moments for Team Korea, coach and fighter. They got their strategy right. Hatiji Ulgin will go back with the silver. $3,000 as well Next to Shabby at this time of year. After a awarding ceremony for... I'm not only happy with the check, in terms of the effort that she put into it, there's nothing, she didn't make any mistakes there, she just couldn't get it done.